Hello everybody, it's Zach here from realestatelicensewizard.com. Today we're going over another one of our practice real estate exam questions. If you are new here, we do post a new question every Monday through Friday. So make sure to subscribe for more. Of course, if you do have any questions you want me to cover, please comment the questions down below or send us an email with a question. But yeah, this series is amazing for anyone preparing for the real estate exam. Make sure to share it, tell anybody else you know who's studying for the exam. Uh, help them out. It helps us out too. Anyways, let's just jump right into it. So today's question has to deal with real estate math, more more specifically uh, commission, almost like a reverse commission in this problem. And, and you'll understand what I'm seeing here in a minute. So the question says, assuming there are no extra fees and the broker is representing the buyer and the seller, what was the final sales price of a property if the commission rate was 5.5% and the broker received $11,000? Okay. So it gives us four options, uh, $60,500, $66,000, uh, 175000 and then 200000 So we are looking for the final sales price of the property. All right. So as always, if you guys want to pause right now, try and work it out yourselves, feel free. If not, I'm going to just jump right into the answer and the explanation, more or less. So key things to think about when you're looking at this. Um, obviously, you want, to rem you want to look at these two numbers because that's what you're going to be working with. So the formula for finding commission is pretty simple. All you have to do is just times whatever percentage you have by the total price of the house. Well, in this case, they actually gave us the rate and what the broker received. So we have to adjust the steps a little bit to find this final sales price of the property. So what we need to do to find the total sales price is take uh, 11000 And we're going to times that, or I'm sorry, <laughs> we're going to divide that by 0 0.55, which is going to equal $200,000, which is our answer. So you're probably wondering, okay, can, what does that even mean? So basically what we did was we took the total commission price or the total commission that the broker received. And remember, this broker is representing the buyer and the seller. Um, so we have to remember that as well. So what, so they received $11,000. Knowing that and knowing the commission rate, we can actually reverse the formula to find the final sales price of the property. Uh, so what we did was we took the, that eleven thousand dollars and we divide that by 0 0.055 make sure you carry over the decimals and that gave us gave us the two hundred thousand dollars which in our case is an answer and that is d so interestingly um there you could you could do this one a little differently an alternative way you could take these answers uh and multiply each one by 0 0.55 and whichever one matches this $1,100 would be the correct answer. Now, I, I you can't do both math methods, you know, whatever you guys feel most comfortable with. I normally suggest you guys do the traditional method because uh, this is the more, you know, textbook algebra method. However, if you guys want to go through the answers, you can. However, I think this is probably faster too. And you got to remember when you're taking your exam, you are limited on time. So make every moment matter. But if you wanted to uh, double check, you could take this $200,000 and you could multiply that by uh, 0 0.55 and you would get $11,000. So that's a neat little trick to double check your work if you want to, or like I said, if you want to you know, do it the different method. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. Again, it's like a reverse commission problem, which I think is why uh, people struggle with this because it's not like the traditional uh, regular problem where you know you just have to times the sales price by the commission rate because that that's the bread and butter commission problem. This is more an, an advanced commission problem. So yeah, but uh, that's pretty much it. So. 
I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned something today. Uh, I very much value your time here. Uh, if you do have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Yeah, that's it for me today. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Zach from RealEstateLicenseWizard.com. As always, make today magical.